the comments from Adam Silver about John Morant's investigation being essentially wrapped up, finding additional uh, subject matters that were so, I guess, one would assume egregious that they decided to uh, wait until the finals are over to announce a suspension for Moran out of respect for the finals and the players playing in it. Your thoughts on on that? I think John Moran's in some trouble. Um, there are certain things that we can speak on, and there are certain things we can't. What we can speak on is the fact that um, the incidences that he has found himself in, getting into a fight with a high schooler, allegedly coming out of his house with a gun to confront the high schooler, um, having a friend of his in, in his company, and they had an issue with some Indiana Pacers personnel, and mm -hmm. they saw some lead, red laser dot pointing at somebody. There was another incident in the club. There was stuff in the strip club with him waving a gun. And then there's another one where he's on Instagram Live and one of his friends put him on Instagram Live. And, you know, again, you see him waving a gun, stuff like that. Um, Adam Silver feels betrayed. Adam Silver feels like John Moran looked him in the face, told him one thing and did another. And all I could tell, all I could say to John Moran is that he is very lucky that Adam Silver is the commissioner of the NBA and not the late, great David Stern. Because had it been David Stern, it wouldn't have been just an eight-game suspension of first go-round. It would have been much different than that. And had it been David Stern, we might be looking at lawsuits and all of this other stuff because David Stern would have tried to turn around and suspend him for the entire season next year. That's how David Stern rolls, and you know I'm telling the truth about that, Rich Eisen. Mm -hmm. In the case of Adam Silver, I don't suspect he'll go that far. Um, I don't think it'll be the entire season, of course. I don't think it'll even be half the season. I anticipate it to be 25 games, hmm. um, and those 25, something around or along those lines, to send a message to try to provide a deterrent for other players uh, to engage in similar behavior. But there are other things, like I said, we can't speak of in terms of John Moran's behavior off the court, some of the things that he finds himself engaged in uh, with the company that he keeps, uh, with the establishments that he, he visits, things of that nature. Um, and obviously he feels compelled pretty much all the time to have a gun around him. And so that brings into question all of those things that I just mentioned that, again, I'm not at liberty to speak on, but I can tell you this. I'm from the streets of New York City, and a lot of players I know are from the streets, period. And I can tell you that people within the NBA community are not just concerned about John Morant playing basketball. They're concerned about whether or not he's going to be alive in five years really? because of the environments that he finds himself around and the situations he finds himself confronted by. It's a serious matter, and it's something that I think that the NBA and everybody um, that knows anything about the kind of things that are going on with him find themselves concerned about wow uh, uh, that that's a jaw dropper Stephen a i'm not gonna lie um you know that i'm just uh, i'm just telling you what i always tell you i tell you the truth as i know it i know catch the rich eisen show every single day on the roku channel 12 to 3 eastern for free